I don't know if this counts as good luck or bad luck. I was walking back in my room. It turns out there's a smell of burning cable. And after I looked around, it was this cable that is connected to the um, fan here. I plugged it in there and left it on uh, as I went downstairs. Luckily, I didn't fall asleep. When I got back, it was burning right above this cloth here. You can see the suit has touched the cloth for a bit, meaning that uh, we were only about, what is that, two inches from having this cloth catch fire, and then the fire would have scrambled all over these fabric and onto the ceiling there. Meaning we could have lost our entire house tonight. But unfortunately, or fortunately, I found out and uh, yeah, didn't happen. That was a close call. There was so much suit from that short circuit my finger is just all sooty right now. This is all suit right there. So, yeah. I don't know if we were lucky or unlucky. But it's nice to know that there is another multiverse me who died when his house burned down tonight. Screw that guy. Can you see it? It's raining. See those little dots down there? Those are rain. And uh, there's almost no wind. What's wrong? I don't know what's wrong with this rain, but it's a weird rain. So, early, uh, early day update. It's currently raining outside. And uh, there's quite a bit of update early this morning. Mm. <laughs> I have to redo the entire Ahsoka encoding because the settings I used last night, they totally sucked. So today is going to be a lot of waiting for the Ahsoka video to complete. Um, I have to reacquire the entire set of Ahsoka videos and re-encode them. And before I could make the video, I have to finish encoding all of them. And that's going to take a while. I started encoding one of them. Uh, there, I have two episodes. Uh, six episodes are on its way, currently downloading. <clears throat> I don't know if I have to go downstairs and use the other computer to uh, run the Ahsoka update, but here's the thing. Uh, I thought this across. I need a comp I need a computer and a screen for display so I can do my presentation, right? There's a screen downstairs and there's a computer on it, but it's downstairs. Do I need to move that uh, up here or should I just leave it downstairs and do the presentation right over there? I don't know if the lighting's gonna be good enough because there's a huge window right behind me if I stand right behind me to the right if I stand in front of that screen downstairs and the screen is kind of far back uh, because there's a desk right in front of it but if I move it here I'm gonna have to move these uh, IKEA racks that I have so there's gonna be some planning and consideration going on uh, in the meantime what I need to do right now is finish the translation I was going to, my mom called me downstairs to eat, and uh, turns out she needed to buy some pork. And she needed the pork ribs cut to size. But the problem is, I, I contacted two sellers on the marketplace, on the online marketplace, and both of them, two of these, two of my, these two are the ones I usually buy my pork from, both of them do not know how wide or how big their pork has been cut up to. 
I asked them, they don't know. The first one just said, we don't measure them. The second one said, just look at the <laughs> image in, in their posting. Well, they posted a pile of cubed pork without a size reference. Nobody's going to be able to be, be able to tell how big they are. That's the problem. I looked at the review and that they look kind of big. But again, we don't have a size reference. We don't know how big they are. And mom is just on the fence and wouldn't risk it. So uh, currently it's on a stalemate. It's a lot cheaper than the fresh ones. That's the weird part. I think these are imported from Denmark. I'm, I'm going to have to ask. Um, but yeah, that's the current situation this morning. I'll keep you posted. My computer won't power on, which means we have to press the goddamn reset button and hope that it powers on. But it still won't power on, which means we have to turn off everything. All right, I switched off the power. Now, turns it on again. And it needs to turn red. Come on, turn red. Do it. Turn red. Bastard, it's not turning red. Why is it taking so long? Turn red! Hurry up! Now! If it doesn't turn red, I have to press, press the reset button. Hurry up! Turn red! You can do it! You know you can! Bastard. I have to press the reset button. You better turn red. I'll be back. Ooh! I turned it off and it immediately went red. Okay. When the goddamn son of a bitch still won't turn on. What the heck is wrong with this thing? Alright, let's press the damn thing one more time. See if it works this time. If you've been following me, uh, you, you know that I've been looking for a method to present videos and images that are right there on the screen that I can point to. Um, one of the ideas that I've been pondering is just to get a TV. Well, a 65 inch TV is like 500 bucks. So I was like, is there a cheaper, better way to do this? Well, I have a TV downstairs that I've been considering of moving here. Uh, it's not it's not 65. I don't know how big it is. It's a bit small But it should do for our purposes, right? But then I saw this uh, presentation on TikTok. It's this girl talking about the Pantone uh, Color system and how it is a conspiracy to make money. Of course the Pantone is there to make money And she was using this giant projector and it looks really nice and so much fun to watch. I spend minutes. I watched the whole thing. And I was like, yeah, that's a good idea. Just use, let's use a projector. And uh, I looked it up. It's quite cheap. It's a lot cheaper than buying a TV. And you get a giant screen, but I'm not very happy with the brand. There's no good brand available other than Epson. And they're quite expensive. And, well, if we're going to spend good money on this let's buy something that's actually going to be useful so uh, the problem with the projector is that the uh the uh image will get projected onto you in front of you so i thought well let's get a short throw projector so i could put it on the bottom of the screen and it'll uh project the image onto the screen above it right so i'm going to be in front of the screen and i'm going to be in front of the projector so i won't be uh between the projector and the screen, so the image wouldn't get projected to me. Guess how much that thing cost? I don't know if that's supposed to cost that much, because simply people aren't buying these things here in Indonesia. And uh, it costs thousands of dollars for one of those. Holy crap, I didn't know it was so expensive. At this point, it's much better to just stick with a goddamn TV. <laughs> no, I'm not buying a short throw projector just to point at a screen uh, behind me. It's a much better idea to just 
have it printed out every time I want to do a presentation. It's going to be cheaper. I can print out all the images I want on paper, just hang it using a, an Ikea Mala and point to things, just like a presentation, you know? On It'll look a lot conspiratorial and a lot crazier. It's going to be much better if I just spend the money on printing things than having such an expensive projector just for a presentation. That or a green screen. Even the best YouTubers like H Bombers <laughs> use the goddamn green screen. It was such a stupid idea. That no wonder nobody's buying these projectors. Holy crap. So where was I? Mom saw this kid doing the TikTok live selling uh, prunes and um, what was the other one? Cranberries, dried cranberries, and she wanted prunes and cranberries, and she asked me to buy it from these guy, from this guy, and I was like, he, he said sugar free, but are we really sure that these things are sugar free? So I looked it up. Uh, most of them are not sugar free. I found one brand from the UK that's. No, use no sugar added, but then again, plums and cranberries are sweet. There are sugars in them, and you can't have no sugar plums and cranberries. You can't have sugar free on them because they are inherent in the fruit. They, they are sweet fruit, and when you dry them, you get condensed sweets in them, you get condensed sugar in them. It's gonna be very sweet. All right, I looked up uh, the brand, and there's a, an actual imported one that is no sugar added. Uh, I asked the uh, seller, but it's one of those shops that they just do not reply until past noon for hours. So I'm just going to wait until tomorrow and see if they reply. And then I'm going to get her some goddamn prunes and cranberries. She asked me to buy some fried food today, and that's what she ate for tonight. She ate fried bananas and uh, uh, fried local delicacies. Uh, people are going to love it. Uh, I'm not sure why these things aren't more popular, because people love, love fried chicken, but we're not selling fried chicken. We're not selling fried bananas from here. There's no fried banana franchise. It's all a local business, uh, small, uh, family-owned. There's no franchising on these things. There is one company that is seemingly franchising, but I'm not sure if they're doing good business now. I don't know. I have no idea what's going on with that company. It's weird. It's like, it's actually a family business, and then the, uh, I think it started by their grandpa or their dad, and then their grandpa died, their dad died, and now it's spread out between several children. Uh, so uh, it's a weird company. Uh, weird, weird. There's a bunch of companies selling with the same brand, same item, uh, different taste, because people are doing it differently on every branch. So there's that. Did anything else happen today? It was raining. I finished editing Peter's video. It's currently uh, encoding so that I could have it on a smaller size for archiving. I got the large full size for uploading. I was thinking I was going to make this an 8K video, but it's already at 4K and running at 16 gigabytes. Holy crap. 16 gigabytes 4K vertical video. That's what we got right now. So that's what I'm going to upload after this. And uh, yeah, that's going to be our vlog for today. Thanks for watching. And I bought a USB cable. USB 3.0 because I, apparently I do not have a USB 3.0 cable. I ordered it. It's on delivery. It should arrive probably the day after tomorrow. The same with the IKEA uh, coat hanger and uh, 
that thing, the other one, the uh, Zoji Rishi Tumblr. So, I spent too much money. I also bought the, uh, <laughs> well, this one is for free because I used uh, the GoPay coin. Uh, I got, mom went up this afternoon and she usually doesn't come up here at all. She's just too lazy to get up here. Uh, but suddenly, she came up here and it was raining and she went out under the rain. Uh, it was a small rain. It was so, no, uh, prickly, tiny sprinkle of a rain. She went out in the garden and took pictures of our trees, plants, and said, well, that's a beautiful sunflower. Too bad it was small and the seeds are so tiny we can't get them. We can't cook them. So, okay, uh... What happened to the uh, mammoth sunflower I bought? They died. They all died. So I thought I was going to buy another mammoth sunflower, but I'll just get uh, 250 sunflower seeds for the same price of a mammoth sunflower. So that's what I got. I got 250 sunflower seeds. We'll sprinkle them in the garden, see if, it, if they grow. And that's going to be that. Hopefully we're going to get some mammoth sunflower the last time we got them, they didn't grow to 10 feet tall. I want a 10 feet tall mammoth sunflower. I don't know why. It looks pretty. Uh, it's not pretty. It's, a, it's the ugliest sunflower. It's huge. But it's got lots of seeds on it. So hopefully we'll get it done. We'll get some sunflower seeds. And uh, we'll get sunflower in. See you next time.